Coming up on Foghorn News, Dia de los Muertos is a big deal in South Texas. Find out what you need to do to get a job, and it's registration time again at Del Mar College. Bringing you the latest from Del Mar College and the Coastal Bend region, this is Foghorn Media. Welcome to Foghorn News. I'm Nicholas Torres. The Career Development Center at Del Mar College works with students and local employers to connect job seekers to jobs. One way that the Career Development Center does that is through job fairs. Foghorn News reporter Heather Medina attended the latest one. At the Del Mar College Harvin Center Rotama Room, a career fair was held for current Del Mar College students and graduates. The focus of the event was for those looking for a job in the business administration, computer science, and hospitality fields. Over 25 employers were in attendance offering opportunities for both full-time and part-time work as well as internship opportunities. The Corpus Christi Police Department was just one of many employers looking for new applicants. And I appreciate Del Mar um, Business Career Fair for having us today. We're excited. Uh, we've met some really good potential. I've met some really good potential um, applicants and um, starting their process. Anywhere from three to four career fairs are held each semester with each event aimed towards various industries. So the goal of the event is for um, current students and alumni to come to the career fair and network with different kinds of employers, maybe if they're um, seeking full-time, part-time internships. Um, also, it's just good opportunity to get more information if they're undecided on choosing a major. So it is good to kind of network and see how to get into this certain industry. Be sure to check out the Del Mar College Career Development page for more information about other upcoming career fair opportunities. For Foghorn News, I'm Heather Medina. The Del Mar College website has links to job boards and many other tools as students plan their careers and look for future employment. According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, 80% of U.S. students reported feeling stressed. If you are amongst those 80% of people, you are not alone. Um, what stresses me out is coming home to a dirty house. I am most stressed when I am not time efficient or behind on a project. Coming home from work late and still having like a lot to do, like chores and then homework as well. Studying, practicing for like music stuff. School related, I'm a music major, so uh, not keeping up with any music that I'm learning. Since it's not always on my mind, with well, a time when it's not on my mind, I take time to take care of myself. Actually, yeah, I take long hot showers. Um, so usually listening to music or sometimes even just going for a walk, I find is what really helps. I listen to a lot of music, like music that I like, so that or only music that I know, so I can like have fun singing it. I know here at Del Mar they have. Um, they have counseling services, so like talking to people. Uh, the practice rooms here are fantastic. Uh, and it's just, uh, you go in, you close the door, and right when you close the door, you hear it shut, and it's just silence. Well, I guess any changes that would need to be made would mostly be with myself and just keeping up with my stuff. Yeah, being more productive, because I'm kind of lazy. The only reason I'm a full-time student is to get the full amount from the scholarship that I'm, that I'm on. Either way, I'm still going to come to school. I just know that I would do better with less classes and all the, the stress that it brings. There are many things you can do to cope with stress. Try getting plenty of rest, taking breaks from social media, getting exercise, avoiding drugs and alcohol, connecting with others. There are also free counseling services available at Del, for students at Del Mar College. This semester, Del Mar College is helping students with their second eight weeks course expenses through the 800 on U.S. campaign. Amber Ashworth explains just how that extra $800 helped students. Here at Del Mar, our financial aid services are constantly trying to find new ways to help current and upcoming students pay for their courses. Del Mar is currently offering a 800 grant to students who are signed up or planning to sign up for a second eight weeks course classes. Um, well, the $800 on this is to help students who are wanting to come back to school. So they would have to sign up for our second eight-week course. 
um, let's say for instance if a student's on a financial aid suspension or let's say um, they were not awarded enough pill to cover for the class so this is their chance to where they'd apply for it um, if they're enrolled in the second eight week course and they can uh, we can use eight hundred dollars to pay that tuition um, anything left over can be used for books for right now so like the last day for books are charging for it is this Friday and then anything left over after that will be released to the student. The easiest way to sign up is to go to delmar.edu and click on the slide that says how about $800 on us and fill out the application on screen. Remember students the deadline to apply is October 24th. I am Amber Ashworth for the Foghorn News. Keep an eye out for additional aid opportunities next semester. Early advising and on-campus or online registration for the spring semester starts November 7th. Remember to ask your advisor about the additional aid opportunities that you are available. According to the American Psychological Institution, four out of every five college students procrastinate when it comes to completing their work. In our man on the street, you could say, segment, Delmar students tell us a little bit about procrastination. I believe uh, college kids are more likely to procrastinate. Okay, uh, I would consider myself an avid procrastinator. I procrastinate things and then I get stressed out and then I have to try and work on it. There's more ability to procrastinate, which kids are actually more prone to procrastination than high school kids. Okay. I think they're more prone to becoming procrastinators. I guess in my household, my parents are always on top of me about all my homework and then whenever you get to college, they're not on as top of you anymore because you're kind of an adult. I think uh, college kids are more likely to procrastinate because one, they're first getting to college, becoming their own adult. Yes, um, because I mean we do it to ourselves, but but yeah, it's more of a, a you're very stressed out all the due date and it's like you need more time, but in reality you had enough time phone, reminders, uh, uh, taking time for uh, a little smart, uh, 30 minutes out of your day just to study. I use an agenda sometimes that really helps me that I have it out in the open and I start writing things down of what I need to do and if I have free time after like doing something that I really like, I go ahead and do it, do whatever assignments I need to do and I think the agenda really helps. I think it's very important to keep your work time and your free time as two separate I've always heard that pressure makes demands, but maybe that isn't the best way to do things. It has been proven that procrastination can actually lead to lower test scores, lower grades, more course failures, and more course withdrawals among students. Our next story covers Dia de los Muertos, a revered celebration of the dead and a nationally recognized holiday in Mexico. It is a time where deceased loved ones are remembered and honored. Reporter Marissa Rodriguez takes us to the Dia de los Muertos Street Festival where the community united for this tradition. The 15th annual Dia de los Muertos Street Fest took place on October 29th in downtown Corpus Christi. Artist Mayra Zamora, otherwise known as Mira Mayra, gave us a behind the scenes look at the work that went into the fest and tells us about its beginnings. So the festival started with Belinda Edwards and Michelle Smith, the director of K Space, and Belinda is part of Axis Tattoo. So they decided to start this festival because there was nothing like this and it only started with half a block and now it has overtaken three blocks of downtown. The festival pays tribute to the tradition of Dia de los Muertos, a tradition which goes back about 3,000 years with roots in Mesoamerican ritual, European religion, and Spanish culture. Yes, it's a celebration, it's a pachanga, it's a party, but we also need to remember what Dia de los Muertos stands for, and it's, it's, it's a moment to be emotional and to honor our past ancestors. Featuring 25 different vendors and live music on three different stages, the Street Fest has something for everyone. For musician Keanu Domini, the Street Fest was a dream in the making. I've always wanted to perform here, and like ever since I was 14, and fast forward six years later, it's my second year of really doing music. I'm here, so it means the world to me that I was able to perform. Look out for the K-Space Teen Art Lab in the summer of 2023, funded by the Dia de los Muertos Street Fest. 
For Falkhorn News, I'm Marissa Rodriguez. To see more of what K-Space Contemporary is up to, follow Mira Myra Art on Instagram or Facebook. Coming up, we will hear more about Dia de los Muertos from Street Fest featuring artist Keanu Domini. Used to talk a lot. Hit me on my phone, come through to the spot. Telling you my secrets and you giving me a lot. Giving you my everything every time, all the time. You say not to worry, but I tell you that I'm doing fine. Outside, and it's 1 a.m. Been talking for a while, you ain't gotta pretend. Lying to yourself if you say that we're just friends, yeah. I'm searching for something that isn't there. I need you to tell me, cause maybe I'm not aware, yeah. I thought maybe there's something that we could share, yeah I thought maybe that maybe there's something there, yeah Or maybe it's that I'm wrong Lately you have been acting different, won't tell me what's going on I know you right here, but I feel like that you have been gone Or maybe I'm just tripping, it's been like that all along, yeah Giving me signals, signals are mixed, yeah Too many problems, there's problems that I can't fix, yeah Trying to do my best, I guess my best just wasn't it, yeah Times in my bed run through my head Like a distant memory meant for me You don't know what it meant to me I thought we shared a connection, honestly, possibly And she liked photography, Polaroids on the floor It was late night, told her you should come over more yeah, but lately it ain't been the same like before Trying to ring you up but you ain't showing up at my door Made plans, but they never fell through If I saw you then, no, I don't know what I'd tell you But would you tell me? We shouldn't want to know But I think about it sometimes Like how would that go? Late night in the whip We could take a little trip Hopped inside my car, but it feels just like a spaceship Hey, no, we used to talk a lot Hit me on my phone, come through to the spot Telling me your secrets and you giving me a lot Giving you my everything, every time, all the time You say not to worry, but I tell you that I'm doing fine Outside, and it's 1am Been talking for a while, you ain't gotta pretend Lying to yourself if you say that we're just friends, yeah I'm searching for something that isn't there I need you to tell me cause maybe I'm not aware, yeah I thought maybe there's something that we could share, yeah I thought maybe that maybe there's something there, yeah Man, that was awesome, man. I can't wait to talk to you more. We'll be right back here. Keanu, I'm still thinking about that performance, man. Thank you so much for being here today. No, thank you. Pleasure's mine. All right, so to start us off, I'm just going to go ahead and ask, how did you like, start all this? How did you get into music? So when I was 14, I started writing poetry on the bus on the way to school, and eventually it just turned into rap. And ever since then, I, just, I didn't look back, and I just kept going forward. And how would you describe that? Like, how would you describe the sound of it? Your, your sound, your art, how would you describe it in, if you had to? I think I could just say that it's me. Like, everything, all the ideas and thoughts in my head, I try to implement that as much as I can into the music, and especially with this next project that I've been working on. Like, I really, I really like, dug deep, and I took a lot of influence from, like, the early 2000s, and, yeah. All right, and uh, you performed the Dia de los Muertos festival. Yes. Was this your first time, and how did it, and how would you describe it? Yeah, it was my first time. Um, it was fun, really fun. It means a lot, and I would definitely do it again. So yeah. And how did you prepare for your performance? I practiced like two times a day for like almost two weeks, and so the set was like thirty minutes long. So. Yeah, it was kind of rigorous. And we were talking a little off camera, and you said you had, you had made like 15 songs since the last one you sang, so like you just came out with a new album. What was the process like for you? Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was fun. Um, I had a lot of fun writing it. Uh, the next album isn't out yet, but that one was like really 
kind of hard to like make sure it like ended up coming out. There's like a bunch of stuff that happened, but you know, we're here and push through, persevere. And what would you say your creative process is like? Like, does it all just come to you? Like, how do you start writing? How do you find the right beat? How do you, like, how do you go about, like, if you had to put down the process of it? I'm a movie guy, so I watch a lot of movies. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, like, watching a scene from a movie just kind of inspires me. I don't know what it is. It just looks dope. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. I can, I can agree with that. Well, thanks so much for being here with us, man. Yeah, for sure. We wish you all the best. And when you really hit it the big time, don't forget here. Don't forget it's all here at Foghorn News. We're on top of the charts. And I can't wait to see you perform for us again. Thank you. Meanwhile, I'll be streaming his new album until then. That's all today for Foghorn News. I'm Nicholas Torres. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you next time.